Welcome back, Nephilims, to episode 2 of Glindor's Journey Through the Depths of Diablo's Dungeons. Now, before I do a recap, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subbed over the last week. We had a large spike in 20 subs. Uh, might not sound like a lot to some, but to me it's awesome and really drives me forward to create more content for you silly buggers. As always, if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that sub button and tickle that glorious bell. Okay, so a 30 second recap. We made a barb character and named him Glindor after the Welsh Prince from 1404. Had the worst possible start with McCall Sorrow. Ugh, awful. Got Brace of Destruction and Leoric's Crown. Would have preferred a gavel of judgement for the Hope-style build, but, you know, the RNG gods were not kind to me. We started on the Halls of Agony, smashed up to about level 8. Then we went on to Neff Rips, uh, to about level 41, where we got a level 70 weapon. And you know, after about three and a half hours, we managed to get to level 70 and pretty much almost die instantly. Uh, thank God for Nerves of Steel. Now, the story continues. Alrighty then, you are now all caught up. I'm going to be tracking four things. We're going to be tracking Neff Rifts, Greater Rifts, Highest Greater Rift, and Bounties. So, we did an additional Neff Rift after the level 71 yesterday. And this is the first Greater Rift. It's only a level 7 GR. Absolute pants. But I just wanted, you know, get that Bane of the Powerful and start actually trying out some new stuff. And to be honest with you, you've got to play a little bit differently with Hardcore, like I was saying yesterday or on the other video. Uh, you've got to not go in those dangerous fire zones. With the Grotesques, pain in the ass. Look at that. That is so much damage. That I would have died if I didn't have it. Shield, pylon, thank you very much. Game over for all those grotesques. But normally you got to try and run around and hide from that sort of stuff. Because uh, you'll die instantly. Well, more than likely you'll die instantly anyway. This pro never really had any problems with this uh, Great Rift, to be honest with you. Um, my main problem with this build is that I'm not generating enough. Uh, fury. So, as you see, I'm hitting him, then I stun him, and then I start hitting him. Because I've got the Fjord Cutter, stun, gives me extra 550% damage. But I'm just not getting enough fury generating. So, not really a problem. This was a poison Rift Guardian. But, again, straightforward enough for me. Uh, got my Bane of the Powerful, thank you very much. Got a pointless sword there. Uh, some nice blood shards. So, if you look at this, there's lots of molten balls flying around. Every enemy just explodes. Um, but we're on master setting now, so I want to make sure that I don't hang around in those things. Because, yeah, Glindor will die if I carry on with that crap. And we don't want that. You know, it's only video two. Need to keep this guy around for at least six videos. Make his money's worth. But again, I'm still facing that issue. Um, after 28 rifts, one greater rift, um, I'm still facing the issue of not actually being able to generate uh, enough fury. So unfortunately I spawned a Rift Guardian when there was about 30 already, <laughs> but 30, 40 enemies. So this was pretty tough because he had Arcane, there was Electric from the other minions, there was Winged Assassins flying in around everywhere. Uh, and if you notice, I struggled with this Rift Guardian on the last video um, because of the waves and then the, the Arcane. But you know, a quick stun. Unfortunately again, couldn't generate that bloody enough fury but we got there in the end and we took him down which was pretty good uh obviously love a channeling pylon so we're on 29 rifts now um but a channeling pylon is great for this build because you can just run everywhere and just start slamming down seismic slam and just killing everything instantly it's a beautiful sight to see
if you're wondering. Oh, jeez, I hope he's not going to go through every single rift. Uh, I'm not. Uh, we will start jumping around in a little bit. Um, just wanted to give you some flavor of what it's like to actually play that's not fast forward um, around how different this game mode is when you're playing hardcore. So, like I said, you've got to get away from enemies. You can't be sat there in front of them. Uh, it's your heart is in your mouth constantly because one stray arrow, one winged assassin flying across your screen, it's game over. So in Paragon 15 at the Butcher, oh sorry, Man Carver, uh, really odd title. Um, and he was pretty tough actually. Uh, but again, staying outside of those traps, don't go into his fire uh, radius. And he managed to pull me in, but again, seismic slam, stun, seismic slam, dead. Uh, not a big problem. Never really struggled at all. He actually ran and killed himself, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, we're on 29 rifts. Let's uh, let's see where we are next. So, I'm pushing now a GR9. It's the highest one we've done so far. But yeah, we're walking through this stuff again. There's no no major problem. Uh, no way. I just love footage of channeling pylons. That's pretty much what I enjoy. You run, you slam, you run, you slam. Uh, unfortunately, the density is not there uh, on Rift 9. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of sucks, man. But it would have been good. Now, this Guardian, I hate with a passion because those beams they are a killer uh, especially when there's like four three or four of them like you're gonna see now ah oh, man it's an absolute pain in the ass but again managed to stay alive so now we're on nephilim rift 30 we've done three grs one we actually managed to get a, a 10 uh, done. We've done 13 F rifts. We're still we're on the master difficulty. The Rift Guardian, yeah, it's not giving me any jip here. He, he, he was uh, fairly straightforward again. So we're still, we're taking it easy, right? I haven't pushed yet, because uh, I really don't have anything to push with, uh, as, it, as this states right now. So I thought, you know, let's mix this up a little bit. I've been doing riffs quite a lot. I've done 32 riffs. Uh, done five greater riffs. Highest is 13. So I thought, you know, let's chuck some bounties in. Um, just to get a little bit different gameplay. We're at Paragon 29 as well. So we're moving forward pretty quickly. Um, really all I wanted to show you here is just me going to speak to uh, Tyrael and getting my caches. Just to say, yeah, we've done them. Milestone complete. I don't know why I didn't empty my stash or my, you know, inventory there. It's a rookie mistake that I made. It, it really drives me nuts. So if you're ever playing multiplayer, ah, uh, that's a pain in the ass when they drop when you're fighting, when people just decide to click it and hope for the best. And uh, hope that you notice that they've clicked it, you catch it. Managed to get a vault, which was pretty sweet. Uh, we came in and we absolutely obliterated greed. So now we've got a boon of the hoarder, which was 
beautiful because that will help with a gold wrap. So now my toughness has just gone through the roof, right? So 32 Nef Rifts, 5 Greater Rifts, and the highest one is 13. We've done 3 Bounties now. Uh, we're Paragon 43. We're, we're pushing strong. Glindor's doing the business. And yeah, okay, I may have picked Barbarian, but I am Barbarian my main. Um, and it's still pretty hard being a Barbarian. It's not a simple task. Uh, we'll see what happens after Glindor eventually passes away. And that's one thing that you want to notice is that when you're playing hardcore characters, you just got to accept that they are going to die at some point. So we've done four bounties now. And <laughs> the last one I had to do uh, to complete uh, Rift number five uh, bounty number five was Mathael. Mathael is probably the worst boss you could possibly want to face uh, with his the mystic cloud thing that goes around kicking your ass. But look at that thing. That thing is just death. Uh, I managed to avoid it though, which was pretty lucky. But I'll be honest with you, I was cacking my pants. When I first started this, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to quit out and restart uh, the, bounties for, the bounty for this one. But you know, we did it. Uh, eventually, um, and we got Reaper's Wraps, plans for Reaper's Wrap, which is a, a major bonus. So there we have it, we have got 5 bounties done, 32 Nef Rifts done, and 5 Greater Rifts. So moving us forward a little bit on, I did another Nef Rift to get us to 36. Uh, what you're watching now is my 11th Greater Rift, and that is at 22. Uh, we're pushing through these pretty strong, and again, we're not facing too much chance of death right now. Uh, things hurt a little bit more here, but you just got to watch yourself with all the poison and... You know, just mobility is key, uh, what I'm finding playing through these. Uh, you've got to try and get away from anyone who's poison, anyone like Grotesque or those guys who just blew up in front of me, uh, and move around as much as you can, and don't stand still. Before this rift started, we did manage to pick up the Fury of the Vanished Peak, uh, and as you can see now with this Rift Guardian, it just wipes them out in two hits. And this is a Rift difficulty 22. And what's this? Badoosh, badoosh, goodbye. See you later. Thanks for the gems. So moving forward, we've jumped up to a Nef Rift 30. We've done 14 Greater Rifts now. Uh, 39 Nef Rifts, five bounties. And again, because of the actual the Fury of the Vanished Peak, we're walking through these Nef Rifts, no problem. Well, I say no problem. We are still facing issues around health. Uh, we're Paragon 86 now, which is great. But we're just one shot in these guys. Three shot in. Let's go three. Okay, three shots. We did three shots then. Uh, and he almost killed us. Uh, which <laughs> kind of sucked. So... Yeah, it's going to try out the Greater Rift 33. We've got a Fjord Cutter, Brace of, Dest Brace of Destruction, and the Furnace in the Cube. I've got my Fury of the Vanished Peak. Let's just crack on. Let's just move a bit further forward and see where we get with it. Managed to hit 108 Paragon levels. For me, this is a huge achievement. Playing hardcore character, not dying once, getting to level 108 Paragons. That's pretty substantial in my eyes. Uh, and, you know, Glindor has served me well. He is just hammering the crap out of it. We've not built anything yet. We've got to start looking at what our, you know, future build is, I guess, with Glindor. But right now, we're just taking care of business. Moving on to the actual Rift Guardian. Again, 
just easy pickings. So we've done 41 Nef Riffs, 18 Greater Riffs, 33 is the highest Rift we've done. We've reached 110 Paragons, we've done 5 Bounties. Ain't no stopping us now. Glindor is the man. He is taking shit and just destroying it. Uh, yeah, this Rift Guardian. I had a shield pylon, so it, it was nothing to even concern myself with. I wasn't even bothered about it by, at all. Um, what I have been doing is building up my gem of ease. I've got a uh, Legacy of Dreams build. Uh, so I've got my Legacy of Dreams to 25. I've got a power, being the powerful, to level 25 as well. And we have a um, gem of ease to about level 25 as well now. So. We are now 42 rifts in. 19. This is the 19th Greater Rift. This is a Greater Rift 38 with five bounties. We're Paragon 127. Not ready. Clan Glindor make it through this. We are getting hit pretty hard every chance. You know. A fireball took off two thirds of my health. And look at all those coming down. It is absolutely insane. Trying to manage through this is pretty impossible. But we made it all the way through, guys. We made it all the way through to one Rift Guardian. We are on 99% of our GR38. And we come across this bad boy. That electric friggin' star. Whoa, almost got me there. That almost got me. And then we come against this guy. He had no chance, son. We've now reached Paragon 130. And I think that's a perfect time to end this episode of Glindor's Journey. Thank you for watching. My name is DB. Stay tuned for episode 3.